What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. Now if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. My name is MTG and I make videos about tech, how-tos, vlogs here and there, but I also make videos about YouTube for smaller content creators like you and like myself. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the best time to post on Instagram. Essentially, it's the same concept as the best time to post on, let's say, YouTube. But we're just going to take a different approach as to what times and what days of the week are the best for Instagram as it's a bit different than YouTube. So without further delay, let's dive right in. So first thing you have to keep in mind is when do people check their phones? Most of the time, it's when they first get up in the morning around 5, 6 a.m. Uh, they're checking their notifications, social media. So that's when they do check Instagram, for example. Uh, one, another one is during towards the afternoon around 11 until like 2 p.m. Uh, when they start to run out of mental energy or they just get bored and tired and they're at work or at school so they decide to take out their phones and check out social media and the third one is when they're getting out of school or getting out of work and heading back home around 5 6 p.m although the best time besides p.m of getting out of work the best two times to upload during the day is during the morning and towards the afternoon now keeping that in mind throughout the video I'm going to be talking about the best times and the best days to post on Instagram. And when you do that, uh, you will see different results. You will see better results. Now it's not going to happen like overnight. You're not going to get like 300,000 likes uh, overnight. It's gonna happen slowly. But as you do post more on Instagram during those specific times and days, you will see changes. A lot of different studies have been done on the best time to upload on Instagram and I'll link the description uh, below but I'm using this website uh, and it's basically talking about the best time to post on Instagram especially in 2019 uh, and they basically say on average the best time to post is between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Uh, but obviously that can change on what day of the week you post and they say the best day to post on Instagram is Thursday but not just at 3 p.m., 5 a.m., like I said before, in the morning when people first get up, 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. as well. So it's basically talking about 5 a.m. when people first wake up in the morning, 11 a.m. when they're mentally down and they just need a little break from everything, and 4 p.m. is when they're getting out of work or getting out of school. So posting at 5 in the morning from Tuesday to Friday generates the most engagement because people usually check their phones right away when they wake up. Now posting from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. obviously has a lot of engagement too because like I said, people start to run out mental energy and they're just looking for something else to do or they're just going out on lunch. And if you want to post on the weekends, Saturday around 11 a.m. is the most ideal time because that's when people are going out to brunch or going out with friends. Now, if you're talking about YouTube, then it'd be different because you're not gonna sit down with a group of friends uh, while your friends are like talking and having fun and you're just there watching a video. It doesn't really work like that, but you can easily pull out Instagram and just check a couple photos here and there. So like I said, same concept as YouTube, but different times and days. All right, so let's dive into each day and the times to upload for each day. So for Sunday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., that's when you'll be getting the most engagement for that day, after that, you're not going to be getting much. On Monday, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. So anything before or after that, you will get engagement, but you won't see as much results as you would if you post on these specific times of the day. Now Tuesday, around 5 a.m., 6 a.m., uh, and then from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the latest. Uh, I hear people saying the best time is to post at 6 p.m. But then there are some people, if you have an audience on like the other side of the world, what are they gonna do? It's night over there, so you're gonna lose half of your audience's engagement then. So just keep in mind when you're posting uh, where your audience is located too. 
Wednesday is the same, 5 a.m. when you first get up in the morning or 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Thursday also 5 a.m. and then 11 a.m. and then 3 to 4 p.m. So they're basically hitting those same spots when you first wake up, when you're around lunch, and when you're getting out of work or getting out of school. Friday is also the same, 5 a.m. and then 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And then Saturday, like I said before, 11 a.m. would be the most ideal time. Now these are the best times to get the most engagement. Like I said, you're not going to be getting uh, a huge drastic change like instantly. It's gonna happen over time. But as you start to post more on these times, your audience is going to realize, hey, uh, this person is uploading at this time, this day of the week. So they'll be aware of when you bring out new content. Now, this website does go a little more into detail about like different companies and the best time to post. So it talks about technology companies. Uh, it's talking about the best time to post for educational organizations or the best time to post for healthcare companies, the nonprofit. So if you're doing any of these, then this would definitely uh, be very useful. But like I said, uh, best time if you're going to post throughout the week when you first wake up or around lunch uh, personally in my opinion I wouldn't even go past uh, the afternoon because you got to think about your audience if your audience is just located in the States or where you live you're perfectly fine uh, posting at 4 p.m. but let's say you have audience on the other side of the world or you're it's like just you and then the rest of it's on the other side of the world you got to think about how they see their posts and how they see their feed so you're gonna post it at 4 p.m. but like let's say in like the UK it's like 9 or 10 p.m. and you, most of your audience is there I mean you're not gonna get as much engagement now also when you're posting you really want to engage the audience you want to engage the person who is viewing your content you want to kind of pull them in so a really attractive description uh, that fits with the post uh, you can write I actually recommend I, I see people that say no don't even write like a long paragraph or don't don't write too long just write a small quote or anything like that but it's better to write more and explain more about yourself so your audience gets to know you and then they can understand of what to expect out of you and from your content I, I mean I see people like just posting a picture with like emojis but like the emojis really have nothing to do with the content they just posted and that's just so plain so you want to attract and you want to pull in your audience so i would definitely recommend bringing out longer content quotes or just talking about yourself uh and also uh if you want to grow your audience then obviously adding in tags as well uh, hashtags you can also tag uh people in your photos but you can also add hashtags now you don't want to overdo the hashtags uh, sometimes Instagram can understand that they might think you're spam so if you consistently post the same hashtags over and over again they're gonna think that you're just spam and they're not gonna really push your content forward uh, so let's say you use a hashtag like men's fashion but you consistently use that hashtag on every single post uh, but multiple like not just one hashtag like multiple hashtags over and over again Then Instagram is going to just say you know what this is spam like we're not gonna push this content of this user out any further so it's gonna be harder to uh, Get to more people now. I'm not saying don't use hashtags definitely use them But try to change them up for each and every photo. Uh, you can use the same couple hashtags for every single photo but always try to change it up and spruce things up make things a little different and also this kind of ties in with hashtags but in general your content should be just like one niche if you're posting pictures about like nature and then posting pictures about beauty makeup and I'm posting pictures about like fashion and like technology on one single profile it, your audience isn't gonna know what to expect out of you uh, now there are people that are just saying, dude, I, it's just like me. Like I just post pictures of me. Why are you making like talking about like 
this is a business. Well, essentially, if you want to grow your audience and you want to make something out of it, you kind of have to think with the business mindset. Uh, you got to have to think about how to engage with your audience. So if it's about just you, uh, post pictures just about you or just one thing. If it's about you and uh, exercising, just post pictures of you and exercising. But don't go any further. Don't try to add more into one single profile. Uh, if you want to do something, just create another profile just for that. Uh, for me, I have one for like men's fashion and I just post pictures of just me. And then another one I have just specifically for my YouTube and that's where I post all my content about tech. So that's what I did. Uh, and if you haven't followed me already, uh, please be sure to do so. Link is in the description down below. But that's what I'm basically doing. One niche for one single profile so your audience knows exactly what you're doing. Now, if you want to go more into detail and actually see uh, when your specific followers are using Instagram, when they're online, your insights, analytics, everything like that, you're more than welcome to. And then you can uh, basically finalize exactly when you specifically should post on Instagram. But in the general mindset, these are the best times and the most engagement uh, to post on Instagram. Now, when you post, uh, yeah, you'll be getting engagement with your audience. But another way to reach new followers is to engage with other profiles, uh, specifically ones that connect with your profile. So if you're doing men's fashion, uh, try to engage more with uh, accounts and users that are into men's fashion, comment on their photos uh, and reply to them. Uh, just show that you exist. Uh, that's essential. People need to know that you exist. So. Like I said, try to engage more uh, with other users that have to do with your niche. What I don't really recommend is just the follow unfollow. So people, they follow like a thousand people and then they unfollow. No, I wouldn't do that because that's not real. You're not getting a real audience. Yes, you might be getting followers back, but they're not your real core audience that's going to stick with you until the very end. Uh, and the best way to grab an audience and to find an audience is to engage with people who are interested in that niche. That's why I'm referring to you guys uh, that you should engage with people on other accounts that uh, have to do with your specific niche as well. And once you do that and once people know that you exist, they'll go to your profile to be like, hey, I wonder who this is. He keeps constantly, you know, commenting on my pictures. I wonder what does he do? And there you go, you have it. Uh, and then they'll say, you know what? I'm gonna follow him. Uh, and also profile. Having your profile up to date is also crucial. Uh, you wanna know, you wanna show people what you're talking about. So for me, uh, I just literally wrote content creator or like men's fashion. Uh, because that's what I try to post. So people know what I'm going to bring out for the audience. Now, in essence, it's kind of like YouTube. A lot of things play in the role of posting and how to get more likes and comments and blah, 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 and everything like that. Uh, so obviously those can be for another video. But if you guys did enjoy this specific video, be sure to Superman that like button comment down below on any tips suggestions opinions whatever as more likes and comments help with the video as it pushes it out to more people and as well as helping the channel as well and best of all superman that subscribe button until next time everybody and until next video this is mtg